The opposition Federal Lawmakers Coalition says the declaration of the seats of the 27 sacked lawmakers in River State House of Assembly remains valid and have not been nullified by any court in Nigeria. The spokesperson of the coalition of the group of the House of Representatives members known as the G60 lawmakers, Honorable Ikenga Imo Ugochinyere, led by three others, disclosed this to newsmen in Abuja at a media briefing. Honorable Ugo Chinyere clarified that the appeal court did not void the declaration of the seat of 27 sacked lawmakers by declaring it vacant. That uh, the Pronwike 27 sacked rivers lawmakers remains sacked, their seat remains vacant. vacant, as the appeal court today didn't decide on the legality of their the government and the declaration of their seat vacant. And let me emphasize again, appeal court didn't void, did not void the declaration of the seat of the 27 pro weekend lawmakers vacant. They didn't void that declaration. Okay, Jumbo still remains the speaker, pending when the issue of the legality of the department of the SAC 27 lawmakers are resolved by a federal high court, appeal court, and the Supreme Court. Now, I want to remind not just only our dear president, also heads of security agencies, we are a particular verse said, help us to build a nation where no man is oppressed in the new national anthem. Speaking further at the briefing, members of the group advised that rather than these lawmakers' persistence that their seat remains, they should call for re-election to test their popularity in the state. That slide, if we don't want to continue that slide, then we should honor. The least that we can do is to honor the weddings, the letters of our constitution. Short and simple. If they have any honor left in them, the best that they can do is to get back to those who elected them and seek for re-election, test their popularity. As representatives of the people, you do not represent yourself alone. If what they have done had been authorized by members of their constituency, it would be very easy to have people with them. But we cannot continue to hide under one illegal action or the other. The issue about whether or not the proceedings of the River State High Court was proper or not. The issue is whether the court has jurisdiction and the Federal High Court assumed the jurisdiction. Now, if the Federal High Court assumed jurisdiction, status quo remains. It means that the 27, look, 27 lawmakers stays where they were. That means they were already removed. They would have decamped. And since they have decamped, they need to now find a way to go back to court, the court that has jurisdiction, and say, we did not decamp. This is self-explanatory. I don't really like to make noise about these things as a lawyer who practiced law in the U.S. for so long. The group therefore called on President Bola Tinubu to call the 27 lawmakers to order, stressing that illegality cannot be legalized. Recall that Justice Charles Wally of the River State High Court on May 10 issued an interim injunction that restrained the sacked lawmakers from parading themselves as members of the River State Assembly, having decamped from the People's Democratic Party, the political party that sponsored their election in 2023 general elections. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.